Hey guys, it's Kelly. So, today when I was putting away some of the plants I recently purchased, I uh, found a little bunny in my plant. And this is, this is him. I'm gonna call him Shroomy. He's a mushroom. Um, I found him in my oxalis plant. And I was a little confused. I was like, oh, okay, let's see. I wanted to know why or how I would get mushrooms in my plants. So I went to Google and I found some stuff out. I'm going to share with you what I found out. Alrighty, so. <sighs> Neighbors. Anyway. So mushrooms don't have any chlorophyll, so they rely on other plants to make food for them. Um, this this has evolved throughout, I guess, time, um, creating a symbiotic relationship between mushrooms and plant roots. Um, okay, so the symbiotic relationship uh, kind of goes something like this: the mushrooms surround like the root system and they provide the nutrients that the plants need in order to live and um, in the regular plant cycle they make sugars and those sugars go I guess down to the roots where the mushrooms then pull them out and eat them so yeah they work together um, having mushrooms in your soil doesn't mean that it's anything bad or anything like that um, but yeah just something little fun fact I learned. Um, mushrooms are also, oh, I'm going to butcher how to say this, sar, sarphoritic, sarphoritic. Um, they help to decay things and basically recycle nutrients back into the soil. Um, neighbors again. Okay. So, there are three main ways that you can get mushrooms in your soil or in your pots. Um, the first one is you have spores already in your soil mix, so it's like a contaminated soil mix. Um, usually, when that happens, you'll have a whole bunch of mushrooms pop up, but in my case, I only had one, so I don't really think that was the cause. Um, the second cause would be that you have a very rich soil mixture and that is just the right condition for mushrooms to grow. So if I came home with the little mushroom spore attached to me somehow and I walked past the plant, it came off me, landed in the soil, it would sprout. So there's that. Okay, so then the third way that you could get mushrooms into your soil or in your pots would be from overwatering. Again, that just creates a really um, good environment for mushrooms to grow. Um, again, with that, you would probably most likely see mold growing on the top of your soil before mushrooms would pop up. So there was no mold in my exiles plant, um, so I don't think that's what did it. Um, I think I just carried home a spore somehow. It happens. It's all right. Okay, so this mushroom, I think, is, let me look at the name to try to, it's already been spent, so whatever spores it had has already been dispersed. I'm probably going to find more of these in some of my other plants, but what can you do? Alright, so the pronunciation of this, of this mushroom is Leococoprinus. Bur burn baum me I. It is toxic. Do not eat it. If you have little kids or pets that like to mess around with your plants and chew on things, you want to just cut it out and throw it out. Um, I just plucked it and I'm going to chuck it. And um, yeah, so that's really all I learned, or some of what I've learned about why mushrooms pop up into your soil. Um, I guess if I find more, I'll probably post them on Instagram as little, like, you know, plant buddies. 
And uh, if you have any other information you think I would like or want to share, throw it in the comments below. And until next time, relax, plant, and peace out.